Huck! I hear some form of halo-wearing fan mission attempting to squeak out some sort of carol approaching. Hey, y'all snigger the taffers. Name's Fen, playing some Winstel by Eternauta. Stories in the description, and uh, just to address the story in the description, it seems to be about Christianity and the Vatican. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Well, anyways, I guess I'll babble on about that angel, archangel, and devil. Let's, let's be the devil so that we can have some actual fun. <laughs> okay, so uh, Lord Robert Lelder, I guess this is a campaign. Okay, now, so collect information about Lord Robert Lelder and his intentions. Where have Julius and Edward, the two Hammerites sent by the Sacred Hammer, gone? Steal whatever can be stolen. 4,000 credits, because, you know, it's, it's credits now, because loot is evil. Even though you live in the dark, you're not evil. Don't kill anybody. I'm not? All this time? Find the diary Julius mentioned in his last letter. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, we should have some sort of fancy... Whoa. Fancy map, and then a nice little cross-shaped gravestone because God is cross and grave. Remember it, kids. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I've said this a few times before, and I don't want to belabor the point, and this is kind of why I've held off playing this. I know it's kind of petty, but the idea of putting a real-world religion into the thief world rubs me the wrong way, kind of. I mean, it's one thing if you're setting it in a whole different timeline, like Cardia's upcoming, uh, uh, whatchamacallit thing, bright sunlight. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. But to have, like, hammers and pagans and then also have Christianity, it's kind of like hammers are already supposed to be a Christianity XP, kind of. And it's just awkward. And I don't know. But but you know what? I'm cool with there being Christmas in the Thief world. So I guess that's not logically defensible. I don't know. But you guys kind of know what I'm saying. And I, I don't wish to just repeat the point over and over. But it... Eh, well, whatever. Um, this is probably a great campaign. Lots of people have said so. So let's just, uh, let's just leave it to that. Okay, I've spoken my mind. My mind must now hold its peace and shut up forever. Ooh. Okay, so this must be some sort of introductory place where no loot for you because hell. Loot is hellish. We get credits because it's freaking Star Trek <laughs> up in here. Yeah, so suspiciously no one's around. Perhaps they're luring me into a trap all mysterious invitation sound. No, because there was somebody. Uh, came and went. Let's just forget about them. <laughs> so, down to the dungeon is, of course, where you want to go to find the diary of the... Oh, of, uh, little Franny Knickers. So, make sure that little Franny is wearing her pants and not buckling up above the knees. Also, that's got, uh, non-transparent background in my icon. Absolutely, the devil's work is going on here. And that woman is sleeping absolutely... Uh, is it the devil's work? I don't know. It depends on whether it's paid its dues to the church this week. Okay, but seriously. There's no auto map, though. <laughs> okay, let's not uh, get sacrosancted by the Lord there. So, I'm in the basement or something, so perhaps that's not even on the map. Well... Fine. I've got three rope barrels already, and I don't know what I need to know where another one is. But hey, now I believe this is the same guy who did the last lighthouse keeper, correct me if I'm horrifically and offensively wrong. And also, apparently, you can put out lights by clicking them and clicking them and clicking them. Okay. Janice, I have some good news for you. I've been charged with checking up on Mrs. Maureen and reporting to Lord Robert every movement she makes. There are a lot of people here, and we all want to protect Mrs. Maureen. Lord Lelder granted two friends of mine a week off, enough time to track down the caravan that is taking the Lelders to St. Erasmus Island and protect Mrs. Maureen life. Doubt not their success. They're two excellent swordsmen. There are a lot of people here that want Lord Lelder dead. Richard. 
Well, listen to anything that dude says. Dear Mum, did you know that Rosie married a former Hammerite last week? Now they're in Venice on honeymoon. He comes from a rich family and promised her a workless life full of gold and jewels. She was on top of the world and told me that she says... She was on top of the world and told me that he says he's... She was on top of the world and told me that he says she's his eighth wonder of the world. Bit soppy, isn't it? Anyhow, lucky her. I wish it happened to me. Mum, I still hear those strange noises coming down from the upper floor. I can't stand them anymore. I hear stomps, things falling on the floor, something opening and closing. Last night, while I was sleeping, someone whispered in my ear, but when I woke up, nobody was there. But I swear I heard it, and that damn door. Am I the only one hearing someone knocking on it? When we wrote Lord Lelder a letter about it, he wrote us back and said that wing of the manor has been locked up for a long time, and the reason given is always the same. It's always been unused. About those sounds, he said that nobody could be in there, and we don't have to be superstitious because only fools get scared about that. Could be rats, he said. Can you imagine? Rats opening doors. Nonsense. I only know that when it's my turn to cook at the fireplace, I can't avoid looking over my shoulder continually. That stupid Richard, the guy I introduced you to last month, laughingly told me not to turn around too fast because I might see what scares me so much. I'm even more scared now, but what if he wasn't just cheering me up with his jokes? Okay, now I'm off to help Claire draw water from the well. Buckets are heavy, and at that age, her back doesn't take it anymore. Next week, I will ask Lord Lelder for one or two days off to come and see you. Will you be happy to see me again? Say hello to Dad, Janice. Well, at least it's not Janice Oh, <laughs> Get it? That was a pun. Oh, dang. I'm good. Oh, what? Is that clear? Are you clear? Well... Your leg is twisted, as per usual. <laughs> Shouldn't even be shocked anymore, but hey, let's just lock this place up and leave these fools to be foolish. I feel bad for knocking you out there, sir, but, well, thief's gotta do what a thief's gotta do. Such as conking people on the head mercilessly. Hmm. Okay, no, I can't press a button, though. Absolutely no fun is to be had. But what hole? Well, you never know. Things could be hidden under the stairs. You, you almost go to truck. This is some advice from me. I've probably given it several hundred thousand times before, but I mean, I don't know. At this age, my memory is just not what it used to be. Doesn't mean it's worse than what it used to be. It just means it's not what it used to be because I don't know. Cells in our body regenerate every one minute and that's what I heard, and at this age, what I hear, I have to believe, because my memory's not the same as it used to- Barrels! Barreling down the track. You best make sure that you don't create some sort of microscopic Dorito that does that. Oh. Oh. Oh, so already we're running into the, uh, blockades over here. The blockades, because it's the old quarter in there, and, well, we don't want to give no quarter to the old. I like that soft glow. <laughs> God damn it. I'm gonna say God damn it a lot in this mission, which is how you can tell I'm super respective of this new religion. Also, dude, what did that do? God, I hate when. I hate when you turn a thing and it doesn't show you what it did. Good lord. Well, I talk very religiously all the time, don't I? Good lord, Jesus Christ, God forsake me. I say that all the time. Well, I don't know, maybe this thing moved or something. Anyways, there was also Venice mentioned in that text, and there's pink wearing Jesus with a bunch of angels around him. I'm sure that's how the story goes. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe it was this that moved. I don't know. Let's, let's see what we can see, huh? Oh, yes, it was. Okay, well, I guess that's not too bad then. Yeah, because cause, uh, <laughs> Venice is also a real-world place. See, that, that's the thing, like, I don't know, I'm mixing the real world in with the Thief timeline. I guess, I guess, like, Telltale Heart did that. I don't remember clicking that just now. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. Hey. What was that noise? There's going to be lots of godlike imagery around here, that's for sure, so there's a lot of Christian stuff here, so it's like I'm not sure what this guy's opinion is on the matter, but hey, maybe it's just fiction, eh? Hey? Well, 
okay. Maybe there's something I can do with that holy gravestone. Like, make a hole in it so that it becomes actually holy. It's, that's what happens when you don't consecrate a grave. I don't even know what Is consecrate even means, but hey. <laughs> hear it a lot in these enlightened times. What is this? Some sort of lion's rear end? That seems evil to me. What was that? But, but yes. Real, real life places such as Venice and, and the Vatican. And of course when you bring Christianity, you bring in the entire 2,000 year history of events, places, and names, and people in the real world. So, yeah, let's just ignore that too. I said I wasn't going to talk about it anymore, but... You all know that that wasn't going to be possible to make good on that promise, local person or not. Oh, you're trying to prevent me from reading that useful letter there, sir? How dare you? Tap on the shoulder ought to do you right. To all servants, whenever one of you is caught hanging around the manor after his working hours, he will lose one hour's pay. No indulgence will be granted. Except to people who are ladies, because I only said him. Lord Robert Lelder. Oh, ladies can indulge all they wish, because everyone knows that my lady servants are extremely polite and would not indulge even if I told them to, because by God, my maids are minute maid. Well, interesting. So I suppose what you do in a situation like this is you go, We're gonna have a good time tonight. We're gonna have a good time tonight. Yeah, cold beer the best. Oh, that's where. So that's where Piggy Bunkster got that photo. Not on the internet, but from a fan version. Unless, of course, it's some sort of double find coince. In which case, cool, I guess. It's not my business to care. I'm a thief. I'm not evil, but that doesn't mean I'm like neutral, chaotic, good, not lawful something. I don't know. Hey, that's a good portrait. It's got some sort of wheelbarrow or wagon. It's got some sort of forlorn dog and forlorn sunset. It's called the Forlorning. All right. I remind you all that during my absence, I will be replaced by Father Joe. Lord Robert Lelder, I will be replaced, eh? Well... Is Father Joe some sort of Christian, or is he some sort of Hammerian? I suppose that's the great mystery of these times. And where would Julia be without her muse? Julia. Julia. <laughs> Nobody named Julia. Okay, uh... This is, of course, pre-New Dark. So I'm going to abuse Crouch Mantling when I can. Mm. Mm. Probably something nice behind the counter. I don't know. Scouting time! Come on. Hey, hey I almost got you. away with it there. Help. Help. But nay. Oh, never mind that. Okay, am I actually on the map now? This looks like some sort of bar. Okay, there's the bar. Good. There's the garden. There's another garden. And there's the start. Good, 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 good. Although, that's not the start. That's, you know, secret nowhere's land. So at least I know where I am. Hopefully I get a key or something at some point, but it looks like I'm going back down into, like, Nowhere's Land basement. Unless, of course, this is the money counting room, which could very well be... What? 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 Uh... Find the diary Julius mentioned. It's it's better to take a look down in the dungeons. Is it? Well, okay. I don't, I don't think that really needs to be an objective. Better than what are we talking about? Better than jumping off the balcony? Better than... Uh, feeling like you just want to jump off a balcony and having to have someone assure you that that's perfectly not okay and you you really should take an Advil 500 times. I don't know here. Sector 1, a bunch of people. Hamarita. Hamarita, Brother Clark? Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, most exciting thing, but you know, this, this isn't the den and this guy is not... Dang. Writing down his thoughts in a non-succinct manner. What? So why is it better to look down in the dungeon? For what? The diary? A prisoner named Iangus has been tortured and killed. Find out why. Okay, I, I guess I have to find out why. I don't know why I have to find out why, but... I mean... Okay. <laughs> Let's not ask any questions. Gotta stay on my toes anyway. Ooh. 
You know what? I keep hearing people, uh, remembering hearing people over the years mention some missionist campaign. It wasn't this one, I think. It was like one with like a memorable name that was kind of memorable. Oh my god. Saying words. Okay, but what I'm saying is, I guess I have that to look forward to, is I guess what I'm, so, oh, what I'm saying. So, Yenderaldos, find out why he did. You got it. Oh, not such a secure door. Well, are you Lendl and Bos? Lintel face? Oh, okay. Yangus. Okay, it's a small key. That's probably a secret door. <laughs> I don't know. But what to use this small key on? Obviously not that. Come on, Fen. We're trying to make some sense here. Don't ruin it for us, bro. Oh, wait. Is it this? No. It wouldn't be anything official in here. It would be some sort of crazy, ridiculous thing like his head. You use it to open his head and take out Orion's belt. Wear it on your neck as a sign of your recently converted faith. Your faith has been converted. I mean, your actual beliefs have not been converted. You still believe in the god of tomato plants who comes singing and a whistling over onto your plate to be eaten up by you and give you bounty. But it's just that your faith has been converted to an even stronger faith in uh, uh, what I said. Uh, the prison control. Okay, but I can still open this door. I gotta, gotta open every door that I can. Oh, yeah. So I guess these other doors are openable by the control, maybe. Which would be a little inconsistent, but, you know. Hey. Whatever. I guess that cell is special, because. Well, I don't know. Why not? Why not indeed? Oh. Hey. All right. Also, is it is it is it was sailing because that would sound sillier. <laughs> so okay, so this key opens that, but what do those two levers do? I don't freaking know. Oh, it's a hammer, right? Brother Clark. Well, perhaps this utterly suspicious brick, conveniently placed for my complete lack of not being able to find. Brother Samuel, young Tommy finally succeeded in his task. He found the right location of the two objects we need. Tomorrow night he will recover them. Even if Lord Lelder captured, tortured, and killed most of the Hammerites, he won't be able to escape our revenge. If we reach our target, we will set our dear dead brothers free from their captivity so that we can arm us all together and defeat the evil in this manner once and for all. I trust in your conviction to go on with the liberation right once we recover the objects. If we don't stop this atrocity, Lelda's madness will never stop killing innocent people. I believe in you, yours, Brother Clark. Hammerites are supposed to also be killing innocent people, you know, such as pagans, but I guess they're not considered innocent. It's better to take a look down in the dark. I still haven't found out why that guy was tortured and killed. He got a small key, but what is the key for? And also... What are those two switches for? If they don't open these doors, what the hell do they do? Seriously. Hmm. Perhaps they... Hmm. Well, he was a pagan. I mean, <laughs> one would think that's reason enough for these fools. Well, okay. Is I gotta try the small key somewhere else, please? Also, how ineffectual can you get? I mean, for literally existing here, bro. I'm guessing, well, I don't know. The small key, I'm guessing I'm going to get a clue for the small key at some point. That sounds, you know. Reasonable. Perhaps I'm even gonna read here about why they tortured and killed a peg and like seriously, hammers aren't even gonna bother to write that down. It's just be like, Well, he was a peg and, and therefore he was tortured and killed, but now he must fight these Christian fools and stop them torturing and killing us because 
Well, it sucks to be on the other end. What's going on, Richard? I'm writing for Mrs. Clare, who asked me to tell you something. While she was cleaning the corridor close to the royal room, she couldn't avoid overhearing the conversation between Lord Robert and his wife, Maureen. She heard them saying that some relics had been stolen. Two precious objects. The burglar had been seen and identified. A pagan child. A pagan child? Here, within Lord Lelder's manor? Why wasn't he stopped? Are there strangers moving around undisturbed in the mansion? Is there anything you know? It was Mrs. Lelder who insisted on going, along with her husband, to St. Erasmus Island in order to visit Robert's brother, David. Claire's been working for Lord Lelder long enough to know that Mrs. Maureen doesn't love going to that island, nor paying a visit to her husband's brother, David Lelder. She also became incautious. A couple of days ago, she met two hammerites from St. Theodore's Abbey, brothers Samuel and Brother Stephen, near the yard where your guards train with bows and arrows. They were talking about some ambush of her husband during their journey to St. Erasmus Island. What would happen if some guard had seen her talking with those two Hammerites? Or even worse, if her husband came to know about the plot, he would probably take her to Shalebridge Cradle, just as he did their daughter. It's Maureen who is controlling Sir Robert's anger. How many times has she managed to prevent some of us being locked up in those dark dungeons? You yourself, Richard, told me that there's something obscure dwelling down there, and that in those places even the mushrooms have their own voice. Claire and I are scared. Please do something, Richard. Look after Mrs. Maureen. Gather some of your trustworthy friends to follow her on her journey to St. Erasmus Island. Love, Janice. Can't help but think of that pink wizard from, uh... Oh, Hero's Quest. And yes, I mean Hero's Quest, not Quest for Glory. Get it completely correct, y'all infidels. Also, there's all these names that I'm just not gonna remember because I'm bad at that. Do you want to crash? Well, no, it's just okay. Well, Captain James, Engineer Prisco must be arrested. He must die after terrible tortures and pain. Many valuable objects of mine have been found in his room. Sunday morning by 6.30 a.m., I want the offender in the underground cellars. You will personally take care of him. Be punctual. I also expect a written confession obtained by any means. God watches over this duty. Do not disappoint him. Father Joe, by command of Lord Robert... Lilder. Okay. Uh, advise Prisco by leaving the envelope on his bedroom table. Wow, there sure is a big old chain of stuff here. Yeah. Uh, arrest Iangus, he's an imposter, and find the key to open that trunk. Oh. Okay. The, uh, that trunk. Why do those things, why does that thing make a noise like two seconds after, oh, whatever. So, maybe I open the, no, the small key must open some that I haven't opened yet, because, I don't know, though. I don't know, I don't know, I'm just going to have to see if I can find it later on, and then, oh, you, whoa, 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 there's a, ignominiously look at a walkthrough and pretend I haven't, because, whoa, 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 trunk, though, trunk, like, is there a trunk I've missed? Is there some sort of elephant walking around here? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I was hoping I would find some info on... Yeldabababadabadabada? Yangus? Yeah, Yangus. But I guess I didn't. But... I've got one small key. I feel like I'm running out of places to go. In fact, this is, uh, my observation. Hmm. Well, okay, so... Dungeons... Where... Where's the stairs to the dungeons? Oh, there's multiple bars even, so like... What? But it must be this bar because it's close to the start. So that must be to the dungeons, except it's being called the guard of the dormitory, but like, you know, never you mind that. I've got a small key. Where can I use it? Yeah, don't touch the cross, man. No, oh, this is a new place? Apparently I don't know where I just came from to make this be new, but... Sure, okay. No complaints. No complaints here. But I will just go around forever trying to find out where I am, and yeah, okay, there's the dungeon, okay. Understood. Well, let's defile some sacred books. 
perhaps also read them, but that sounds heretical. Ooh. The unreasonable person fits in the world. The unreasonable... No. The reasonable person fits in the world. The unreasonable person persists in trying to adapt the world to himself. Therefore, our progress depends on irrational people. G.B. Shaw, a real world quote, and also something that was in somebody's sig, I think, maybe on the dark one form or something. I, I definitely didn't first read it there. I definitely read the complete collected works of Georges Bernard uh, Shaw because I'm super smart and I read everything. Oh my god, bros. Yeah. So, kind of kind of a weird real world fake world mishmash. But I don't want to go into that Christmas room. Instead, I'll go into this Christmas room and now we see the beauteous stylings of Eternauta in full force, forcing you to believe and worship their greatness. I know I these coins. I'm not that blind, except sometimes I am, but I wasn't that time. So you can all trust that my uh, sins have been repented and are no longer part of me. I have now become perfect and need no longer apologize to God for not being so. Oh. oh. I miss the confession booth. It had pretty red curtains. Whoa! 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 I hate your blue suit. It almost made me throw up in my mouth there. Anyway. The, the, Something there? Yeah. That's all I've got to say on that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is just a mission that I'm taking in all, like, all of a freaking sudden. Uh, you can't put out everything with your bare fingers. And I'm not talking because I'm just like, I'd rather... I'd rather... Sing! Oh, I'm a guy! I probably worship God or some facsimile thereof! That's my song that I think will show you just how deeply I appreciate this mission. I mean, there's a monkey and a woman and a guy wearing some sort of red bonnet. That will show you even more how much this mission truly means to me. Oh, I'm back here. Hello. Dang it. Show yourself. So, okay, I'm back here. I should probably use my map, but since it's not an auto map, I'm just like, I don't want to use the map. It looks like I'd have to scan my eyes across it and remember things. Oh, now I'm here again. Jesus, what? <laughs> yeah, as I've said many times, I prefer to just kind of walk around and try to remember things in my head, in my brain space, you might say, if you're scientific. Because science has now renamed the head the brain space, and if you call it the head, well, you'll just be laughed out of this commune. Itty. Guess I'll let Absolutely you go. Nothing. Seeing as you seem to be some sort of good old religious person, because, well, there's really no evidence of that whatsoever, but I'm just gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. Ah, <sighs> out of order. Oh. I thought it was like, hey. The sign on the wall is out of order. It's not out of order. What are you talking about? That's perfectly... This is the most in-order elevator I've ever heard. Good lord, man. Take it out of your netbook and replace it with a proper processor. Okay. Maybe it doesn't go all the way up. That's... Well, it goes high enough to the ladder, so it's in order enough. Get it? Because, you know, like, atom chips have in-order execution, <laughs> so they're slow. <laughs> anyway. Never mind that do if you like. Well, now that I'm up on the second floor, I should probably leave it off, but I mean, I don't know. It, I just want to loot some jewels off of these guys. I just want to give them as gifts for late Christmas. That's not being late for Christmas. It's an actual holiday called Late Christmas, celebrated on the 26th and taken from Schleinfeld, which is the show that Seinfeld ripped off uh, although, you know, the lawsuit was ultra-secret and under the, uh, shadier auspices of the United States philosophy, so nobody knows about it. 
You can tell this conspiracy theory is true because it's extremely tenuous and flies in the face of thousands of facts that are well known and also logic. Lord Lelder, when you come back from St. Erasmus Island, you will find a nice letter of complaint from me and my partners. I have traveled for two days and two nights to reach your house to talk about business, and you don't even come to the appointment? The last time we met, I offered you much money to buy the sewer system below your manor. My partners are losing their patience, and I can't grant you that our next meeting there will be further negotiations concerning concerning the old water softening plant. Also, you promised me a different bedroom at our next meeting. You know very well that from the room next door comes a voice always singing the same theme. I know this is not my business, but are you really sure that there's really no one inside that part of the manor, the one locked up? If I'm not given a different room next time, it'll be our last meeting and our goodbyes, unless you still care to see me in that old plant. Alfred Hook. Oh, well... He won't be hooking any sort of sale today. <laughs> Why would you want to sell the sewers beneath your house to anybody? I mean, the... Like, what, why would you... Oh, someone else owns your sewers? Like, what, you don't want to use them yourself? Or you just want the privilege of paying somebody else to use them? I don't know, perhaps this is some traditional, ancient, old thing. Oh, I like that little Who's blower. There? Um, the candlestick. Nobody's here. I'm just like singing a tune. La, 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 la. This is my theme. Uh, if somebody repeated that over and over to you, ad irritatium, I'm sure you would be a little bit cross as well. And then, <laughs> and then you would only have to become grave to become God. And uh, I don't think we want anybody knowing that all they have to do is be angry and serious to be God because then God just wouldn't be special anymore. And, well, we wouldn't want that, would we? I don't like well, I don't know. The democratization of godhood might be a grand idea indeed. People just walking around on water all the time and creating infinite energy. I don't think God has ever been said specifically to create over unity energy, but I mean, it's probably implied in some description. This is a guess, but... I'm sure that what with the thickness of the Bible, I'm sure somewhere in there it's statistically probable that it says, And thus he came down and created over Unity Energy Reactor, but the people rejected it because they define themselves based on suffering Mr. Anderson. Pretty sure that's where the Matrix got their stuff from the Bible. The whole script was right there in the, the Book of Ungai, which... Nobody knows about because seriously, the book of Unguy. Nobody wants to know about undeath, unguys, or undisguises. It's too many double and triple negatives. Because Stephen Fry was in a movie one time where he was not religious but still had religious books because he found them to be beautiful poetry, then he died. Oh, spoiler. Sorry about that. So, I guess for fun, I could turn this light on. For fun. Uh, I don't know. But now that I'm up here and have avoided some guards, I think I'm actually going to leave it here. So next time we'll charge right into a hallway with people walking around. It'll be the most magnificent thief gameplay you've ever seen. So see you guys next time. And remember, uh, cross your grave and you too can become divinely powerful and drink some apple juice. Bye! La, 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 la. This is my theme. La, 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 la. This is my theme. La, 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 la. This is my theme.